Hey everybody, Aaron here from Comic Booked, and uh, today we're going to continue the coverage of uh, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earth, DC's big event for last year. We're almost done. Uh, we're on uh, issue five, and this uh, really brings everything to a head. Um, so we'll start out with the issue five of Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is the big battle. You know, they've uh, all of the uh, I don't want to say second stringers, but the Titans and everybody go after Pariah uh, while Pariah brings out the Infinite Earths again. And uh, it's just a battle to, with the dark, uh, the, the corrupted villains, uh, dark infected villains, whatever you want to call them. So they've kind of figured out that there's something wrong with the darkness and it's something to do with Pariah corrupting it. So it's not necessarily the darkness that's evil. It's just Pariah's influence that's making it evil. So this was really good. Um, in the end, we see the um, the Justice League come back, uh, at least fighting against Pariah, uh, but it's not enough. It's It uh, sparks the the crisis that, uh, that that was needed in order to generate the Infinite Earths. Now the power of the worlds that each of the Justice League was stored in um, is is waning because they're breaking out of those of those worlds. But Deathstroke um, has fully channeled the darkness, and they all of the uh, dark infected um, villains come to Earth at the end of this this book. So it's really good. Um, you know, it's really building up. So. Next up is um, a couple books, and I, I threw in here because I think they kind of go in order here. Uh, Dark Crisis, The Dark Army, and this is Damian Wayne versus Darkness. Damian Wayne takes uh, a group um, uh, during the battle with the Dark Army to go and try to figure out what's, what's going on. So um, it's kind of the story of that. It's just a, a good one shot, adds into the storyline. A um, lot of stuff about Damien and, and kind of all of that, but they go to different worlds to try to uh, try to, you know, fix whatever the problem is. So it's pretty, pretty interesting. And then this, I can only pick up the variant cover. I don't have the regular cover, but this is Dark Crisis, the Deadly Green. And this is sort of the magical side of things as the, the magic folks go uh, down into their little hidey hole underneath the Justice League and uh, or the Hall of Justice. And they uh, working with um, uh, Swamp Thing go into the uh, this uh, other world of uh, Alan Scott's ring, basically, and they find the source of the darkness there. And it's it's really an interesting thing. Superboy or Superman um, goes with them. John Constantine is part of the group, and uh, Constantine kind of gets pulled off and has a little chat with the darkness. Uh, which is is kind of interesting. So if you like the magic folks, uh, you know, Detective Chimps in this and all, all of those guys, uh, definitely check this out. It's pretty good. All right. And then we have Dark Crisis, World Without a Justice League, Green Arrow, and, you know, Black Canary. Uh, so this is pretty good. It's like a each one of these just tells the story of the worlds that the Justice League were trapped in when they were killed by Pariah. Uh, he basically just caged them in a world of their own so that their power could generate enough whatever to spark off the infinite Earths again. So that's what he wants. He wants everything back. Um, so the, uh, Green Arrow's world is like a um, uh, Robin Hood, you know, a world where Merlin, uh, Malcolm Merlin is the Sheriff of Nottingham kind of character. And so he's robbing from the rich to give to the poor, that kind of thing. And he chases Merlin to the woods, and in the woods he finds this hole into another world, basically the world that Black Canary's in, which is more like a, a decrepit cityscape, a dark cityscape. So uh, they get in there, and then they, they get together and you know, try to figure out what's going on. Pariah, though, is very frustrated because every world that they get to, that they, they're put in separately, they all they always want to cross over into the other worlds to find each other. And, you know, that's the whole thing with Ollie, where he's basically said he'd always find her. He'd always find her. So, um, you know, it's about their true love and that true love never dies. It says it's, it was good. It's a good story. Um, and in the end, it's kind of about um, Dinah telling him, hey, you know, if you want us to be 
to stay in the worlds, you have to create a world where we're together. And that's kind of the, the end of it. So uh, the last one for this month, and this is uh, October 2022, uh, was Dark Crisis Young Justice, number five. And we see Mickey Mixus Pitalik, um, who says he created the world that Young Justice, these guys, were in, um, along with um, uh, Cassie. And so there's a big fight. Um, Mickey is basically, you know, uh, you guys were my heroes as kids, and I don't know what happened, and all these other guys took over. Now they get all the credit, and you get nothing, and you're relegated to the sidelines, and they're the big stars, and you need to be the stars again, like we like when we were young. And they're like, that's not that's not what we're all about. We're about, you know, helping people and being a team and working together. And um, he just can't seem to get that. So uh, Red Tornado is part of the group, and they all fight uh, against these plasmoid blobs and the, the power of the fifth dimension and all that. Uh, they figure out a way to teleport away uh, into back into the regular world, I guess. And uh, Mickey follows them. So at the end of this episode, in the end of this issue, you have Mickey showing up and he's like, now, you know, we can have some fun in the real world. So we'll see. Next issue is the wrap up of that one. And I'll uh, I'll have another video covering that stuff. This is, you know, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths in 10 minutes or less to kind of cover each month. There are quite a few books um, there. I think there's there's a flash book in here, too, but um, I'm not sure. If I missed it, I think no. the The flash book is for the next the next month, so um, there'll be four books there, and then it looks like I have three left after that. So seven more books to wrap up uh, this this series, and we'll see kind of how it ends, and then uh, we'll see what what they're planning on doing for this year. So um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about the DC Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths event from last year. Um, you know, sorry, I'm taking so long to get to it. Some of this stuff was just a little slow and getting together. But uh, I appreciate you watching and hope you check out the other videos. Thanks.